Now, the Wabash Valley's most watched newscast continues with Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orpert, awarded the AMS Seal of Approval by the American Meteorological Society. All right, on this Tuesday evening, uh, November the 2nd, even though we have cloudiness, there is nothing in the way of precipitation showing up. And so it'll stay that way. It's going to stay dry for the next several days. Uh, and, of course, this overcast continues. We have 50 in Terre Haute, 50 in Paris. Uh, Robinson has 54 in Vincennes, 54 degrees. All of these temps just a little bit below average for this time of year. Daytime high ought to be closer to 60 degrees, and so we're just a little bit under that. 34% relative humidity, and so the air is dry. Paris has 37% relative humidity, and uh, a pretty good wind speed right now, 12 miles per hour. Uh, Paris has a 10 mile per hour wind and Robinson 10, Vincennes 12. So there's a pretty nice little breeze which will settle down as we get further into the nighttime. Now, here are the clouds that are covering us right now. And we've got this little area of precipitation. That's because of that low pressure that's down to our south. But see here, we've got some clearing. And so I think as the night goes on, it will clear somewhat and that'll open the door for a sunny day tomorrow. Here's the low that's causing us to have cloudiness right now. And so we've got this circulation back and through here. But as I mentioned yesterday, this low is going almost straight across the uh, Gulf. And so it's going to keep all of the rain down there. In the meantime, we've got another cold front here. Here's uh, Wednesday at 12 p.m. And then we get into Wednesday afternoon. Uh, it, actually, it stays fairly mild tomorrow. We'll have uh, not a bad day. But as this wind or this cold front gets closer, the wind really picks up so that on Thursday, we're going to look at a daytime high much colder than what we have tomorrow. And this front, as it moves in, will cause quite windy conditions. And so Wednesday, Thursday is going to be a very windy day. And uh, actually, again, no chance for anything colder after that. So tonight, a low of about 28. It will be clearing. The wind will be light. And then for tomorrow, a high of 59. Not a bad day, really. Mostly sunny and a wind from the west at about 8 miles per hour. And then tomorrow night, mostly cloudy, northeast wind to about 5. And the seven-day forecast, Wednesday 59, but then here comes that cold front, Thursday 51, and Friday a high of only 45 degrees, Saturday 48, and Sunday 50 degrees. So we've got some uh, chilly weather on the way, not record-setting cold as far as I can tell, but, you know, it's, it's certainly going to be a little shock uh, compared to all the... Uh, you know, my